Nobody would have, we would have never expected we would have had to bury her. That was the daughter of Carolyn Chambers. The high point mother and grandmother was the innocent bystander who was caught in the middle of a police chase. Police say a driver under the influence hit her head on, killing her. WFM1 News 2's Jess Winters talked to her daughter about last night's horrific crash. Brittany Marsh is angry. She says she wants to look the driver in the eye to make sure he feels guilty for killing her mom. On the way home, we had seen the wreck, but we didn't think of anything bad like that. Brittany Marsh drove right past the scene of a crash by the intersection of MLK and Hamilton Thursday night. Two vehicles involved head on. Completely unaware of the fact that it was her mom who was hit and killed. 1018, I got one unconscious in the car. Until High Point police officers showed up at her door. It's still unbelievable at this moment. Marsh says her mom meant a lot to a lot of people as a mother of three and grandmother of four. I literally would knock on her door like five times just like mommy, 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 open the door, open the door. Police say the driver Anthony Tate was drunk and high going 90 miles per hour running red lights and driving the wrong way down roads on a revoked license. They say he was doing anything he could to lose the officers on his tail when he hit chambers head on. Why you couldn't just stop? Like what was so wrong with you stopping when they pulled you over. Marsh has this to say to Tate. The fact that you took my mother's life because you wanted to be selfish. I want to see all the guilt. I want to see it eating you alive. Yeah, I want to see you dying slowly because you did this. And if she could say one more thing to her mother. If I knew this would happen, I, I should have said it. I, I should have told her I loved her. So Tate and a female passenger in his car were taken to the hospital. He's still in police custody under medical care and faces several charges, including second degree murder. His court date is on May 30th. Marsh says she'll be there.